the courts hid under while purporting to interpret the, 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 the Article 24, sub Article 4 of the Constitution to say sex therefore includes sexual orientation. And sexual orientation, as you know, is the idea that you determine your gender each minute, each second, each time, in spite of your sex of birth. So that I entered here as a man and you can see it, but uh, in the middle of this interview I can say and I'm a woman and you must treat me as a woman, refer to me as a woman, give me all spaces of a woman henceforth. And then you remember the case undergoing inquiry in Scotland currently, where a convict said he's a woman for purposes of imprisonment and was taken to the female sections and went there raping every female person he found around. And the inquiry cannot yield much because the response of the wardens is that having identified himself as a woman, he had to be taken to the women section. That is where we are being pushed to. I did tell you during the last interview that in April I was in a European country, I would not tell you. And I went into our bathroom and then into the steam bath area and a woman joined us there saying she had identified herself as a man. And but there I was warned by the management never to waste it because if I did, I would pay a six, uh, I would pay a six figure fine before I return to Kenya. That is where we are. So the idea is that once you shout sexual orientation, you determine your gender. And currently there are over 157 gender categories across the world, including that of stars, birds, frogs. You can call yourself whatever you want. Countries like Canada have gone to the level of uh, enacting what they call pronouns law, prescribing up to 39 pronouns you refer yourself to, so that you refer a girl as they be or as them for a single person. Now, the amendment of these provisions will seal the constitutional gaps the courts have been relying upon to introduce homosexuality in Kenya under the guise of judicial interpretation and secure the legislative mandate and secure that legislative mandate belongs to parliament and constitution making power remains with the people. These are the provisions our courts are using to make the constitution more so on matters concerning Bill of Rights, which is something reserved only to the people of Kenya as their governing instrument. We are engaged in a war, not only to save our society, but to salvage humanity from complete destruction from homosexuality or LGBTQ perversion.